Hey everyone, it's Civ Extraordinaire, and I wanted to bring you guys some very, very unfortunate and quite frankly heartbreaking and sad news in just my reaction to some recent Imperator Rome developments. Uh, I just learned of this today, and I thought I'd make a video on it, a quick video to inform you guys, but um, I'm very disappointed with Imperator Rome, at least from Paradox, because uh, it looks like it's been cancelled or something of that because... Um, Yesterday, I would have made a video earlier. I wasn't keeping too up to date with Imperato Rome. I've been following Civ 6 recently with the recent update, and if you guys want to see some videos regarding that, check that out. Um, but today's video is about Imperato Rome, and it's just unfortunate to see some of the developing news regarding and surrounding uh, Imperato Rome because I think even some news sites have published some uh, information on this. But basically, I'll read it here. Um, for those of you who have not read this, uh, but it's a dev post in the Paradox forums. You can all find a link to it probably in the description. But anyhow, denote the uh, product manager and then Arheo, the game director who was directing Imperato Rome. I'll get on to that later, but basically they released a statement saying, hey, we would like to give you an update on where we are at with Imperato Rome. Since the 2.0 up 2.0 update, which was very successful, and Heirs of Alexander. Earlier this year, we did some reorganization work within PDS, and this came before 2.0, I believe, but you can read the full details in this thread, yada, 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 you can click on that in the description. Um, but I wanted to highlight a part of the communication that is relevant to Imperator, and the reason why we've been a little quiet recently. You might have noticed that Imperator Rome isn't assigned to any of the studios mentioned above, and this is like a little excerpt. Uh, the reason for this is that on a regular basis, we analyze the projects we have in development, where they are at, what they are trying to do, and also what people and resources we have working on them. As part of the analysis, we realized that there was a need to bring reinforcement for a couple of products at, projects at PDS, and I believe they're talking about uh, CK3, um, possibly a new Victoria game, and then... Possibly Hearts of Iron. I'm not too sure. Uh, and then maybe Stellaris. But anyhow, Imperator Rome, um, they were evaluate, evaluating it where it was um, with 2.0 because it kind of got um, bad reviews. It was dropping in the p player base. And they basically were doing, um, they were cutting costs and whatnot. So this is um, just basically them kind of being silent. They hadn't said anything. Uh, at least they haven't released any do dev diaries and people were starting to fear for like a month after 2.0 and as they suspected at least some of them in the community some of the more diehard fans um, unfortunately Imperator Rome looks to be put on hold for now so they say Imperator Rome is uh, Imperator is impo important to us to you and our fans and they're trying to figure this out but I guess this is just the developers being allowed to um, break the eggs on here and kind of put out a little press release or um, just update the fans so Arheo the game director and this is um, just official confirmation, but he's saying, as mentioned above, many of the faces you've become used to seeing uh, will be leaving. Uh, we saw this kind of with like Stellar shifting its focus. I think we um, had Daniel Morigard get on the um, team as the lead director, and then Wiz, who was the older director, I believe. You can correct me in the uh, comments description or whatever, but um, I think he also left, left for another product project that has been undisclosed that has been going on for uh, per at Paradox for like two years. So I don't know if they're upping the workflow on that or whatever, but he's basically um, saying uh, it's continuing to grow towards the vision we have uh, created for it. And I think there's basically being a skeleton team being left for Imperator Rome. <laughs> Not that uh, it, th it didn't already have a skeleton team, but it's been even further reduced. So uh, I know how long 2.0 took to get out like a year. So it's probably going to be like at a snail's pace now with development, which is extremely unfortunate. I was loving Imperator Rome. It was doing amazing. Uh, everyone loved it. You can even see with Heirs of Alexander, their most recent release, they had insanely good uh, review scores here. You can just look at the graph, um, and then people bombed it recently. But um, they had some very, very good reviews uh, at 149, just really, really good, 100 positive out of the gate. But either it didn't sell well enough or they really need some support for CK3 and other DLCs. So, I don't know. I also wanted to point out that EU4 has taken some flack recently. And I do want to speculate a little bit before I end the video and talk about that. So as you can see, Imperator Rome has received a ton of review bombing. And I just wanted to tie that into EU4 because... Uh, overall, it was getting some very good reviews, and then suddenly, with the recent news, it is May 2nd, but as it released on uh, May 1st, 
that little update caused the game to get some insanely bad reviews, which dropped it all the way down to mixed, and that is not good. That's like a 50-50, so about 60% um, of those user reviews just brought it down completely. It was doing a lot better, but uh, people just really review bombed it, and I wanted to tie that over into EU4 because they recently released the Leviathan expansion, which was one of EU4's first uh, in a series of a few I think bad DLCs, but this is like its first really bad expansion, I'm pretty sure. Dharma was received negatively, I think, but it wasn't this bad because this is like a 2 out of 10. Uh, 7% actually, so like a 1 out of 10 uh, for this DLC are positive. And why I'm bringing this up, like, why aren't Civ, you may be asking, why are you even bringing uh, a game like EU4 up? Well, it's part of Paradox, first of all, and it's important to, I'm just trying to find the graph, but I guess that's not, um, this game hasn't been out. The DLC hasn't been out long enough, but basically it's had a ton of bugs with EU4. There was talks about not enough um, developers being on the team, and yeah, people are complaining all about the bugs, the um, paid features, and even Stellaris with Stellaris Nemesis um, also was doing very, very bad, um, just because people are also complaining about features here with mixed reviews, and this is not even related um, to the fallout with Imperator Rome, I don't think at least recently. Um, I, I've personally found the DLC wasn't too fulfilling. I didn't think it was worth $20. So I think this is po could possibly be a big fallout. I know Paradox's stock also dropped 8%, which isn't too big, but at least there is some uh, pushback. It may not, not even be related to the recent bombings for the DLC. But I mean, if you have these announcements followed by like some negative feedback from CK3, I know it's been Northern Lords has been received fairly positively, but... Um, people have really been wanting CK3 to push out more DLC. People have been kind of demanding Stellaris to um, go a bit more heavier with their updates and all of this stuff. Not that Nemesis wasn't a big update, but still, um, there's still some outfall or fallout from um, the ship designs and everything. So I'm thinking people are trying to just um, scramble at PDX and scrapping Parata Rome and send some of what's left over from that team uh, since they do... Um, have some announcements coming up at PDXCon on the 20th or whatever, the 22nd or the 23rd, and that is going to be a big deal. So we're just going to have to see where that goes for Imperator Rome and how that's going to function in relation to all of that. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'm really disappointed to uh, see what's been happening to uh, Imperator Rome. But again, thank you guys for watching. Uh, hopefully we receive some positive news. But it is looking a bit grim. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. This has been Civ Extraordinaire. And I hope to see you guys later. All right. Peace.